Hey everyone, Greg here and welcome back to the shop for another DIY guide. Today I'm going to be showing you the process of how to bleed the brakes on your car or truck. But before we get into the actual process on how the job is done, let's talk about why you'd even want or need to bleed your brakes in the first place. One of them may be that you've done a previous brake system repair, like a brake caliper or even a brake line. When that happens and you open up the system, you need to bleed the brakes correctly to get any and all air out of the lines for optimal performance. Or maybe you're doing it based on a recommended maintenance interval. Brake fluid, just like any other fluid in your car, does have a lifespan and it needs to be changed. So make sure if you are doing this based off maintenance, you're following the recommended interval from your automotive manufacturer. But enough of that, let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to get the job done. So things are gonna start under the hood at the master cylinder. Now I know we're working on an older vehicle, it is a 93, but this process is relatively the same for any make and model vehicle. Now in our case, we have zero fluid in the master cylinder because we actually did a repair on the braking system, so we had to drain all of the fluid out. Now if you're doing this based off preventative maintenance, it's always recommended to suck all that old junky fluid out of the master cylinder and fill it to the top with new fluid to make sure that you're circulating only new fluid throughout the system. This is bone dry, so let's top it off. Before you top off that master cylinder, make sure you have the right fluid. If you don't know what fluid you need, on the cap of every single brake master cylinder is gonna tell you exactly what you need. In our case, this is an older vehicle. This takes dot three fluid. That's what we're putting in. You're gonna to wanna to fill the master all the way to the top. Because when you do bleed out the braking system, this reservoir is going to drop. So you're gonna to have to top this off several times. So we got it topped off to the brim. We can go ahead and get started with the procedure. Another important note about any brake fluid is it is very corrosive, particularly to paint. This stuff will eat any painted surface on your vehicle. So just be very, very careful when you're pouring it into the master and you're working with it around your car. Now, regardless of what vehicle you're working on, anytime you bleed brakes, you wanna start at the furthest wheel from the master cylinder, which is the passenger rear, to make sure that you get every bit of air out of these lines. And we're gonna slowly work our way from the passenger rear to the driver rear, passenger side front, and then finally the driver side front to complete the process. Now there's two main ways that you can bleed brakes in a car, either buying a special tool, such as this vacuum bleeder to do it by yourself, or you can do it the old fashioned way with a buddy. And I'm gonna show you both of those ways, starting with the vacuum bleeder. The way a vacuum bleeder operates is pretty simple. It uses compressed air to draw fluid from the lines out of the bleeder screw at each wheel. And the great part about this tool is you can do this job solo rather than the traditional way, which does require some extra help. But let me show you how this works if you want to invest in one of these tools. First thing you want to do is loosen the bleeder screw. Put your open-ended wrench on the bleeder screw first, then your hose on after. Once I have that connected, I can hook up our vacuum bleeder to the compressor. Now right now it's off. I can come up here. Actually, I need a little bit more throw out of my wrench. Right and then I just want to crack the bleeder to just open it up a little bit, not a lot, just enough for fluid to start coming out. And I will turn on our vacuum bleeder. Now you see the fluid starting to get pull through the system, you're going to notice it's, it's all bubbly. It's got a ton of air bubbles in there right now. What we're looking for is a nice clear stream of fluid, which means no more air whatsoever. It should be nice and clean, no air, and that's exactly what we want. Now once you notice a nice steady stream of fluid coming out of the bleeder screw, you know that you've gotten the majority of air out of this section of the system. So you can turn off the vacuum bleeder. Tighten up your bleeder screw and remove your hose. Now it's clear the vacuum bleeder makes things a lot easier when you're doing this job. But if you don't want to invest into a tool like this, because you're not going to do it that often, you can still take care of this procedure. All you need is a friend. Have a friend of yours hop into the driver's seat of your car. Now once they're in there, make sure the system is closed. That means cap on the reservoir, uh, all of the bleeder screws shut, and have them pressurize the system by pumping the brake pedal. Pump it up. Now 
Now you're gonna want them to pump it up just about four or five times, but essentially until the pedal feels firm. And once it does feel firm, they can hold the pedal down, which is gonna keep consistent pressure in the system. Hold it. Then you can open up the bleed screw and you can watch all the fluid drain right out, including all that air in the lines, which is why you're doing this procedure in the first place. After you close the bleeder screw back up, you can tell them, pump it up. Do the exact same process over and over again for each individual wheel until you have a nice firm pedal and all of the air is out of the system. Now this makes complete sense because we did have these brake lines disconnected in the front here so there's a ton of air in the system. Now guys, don't forget to periodically check the level of the master cylinder while you're bleeding. You can see that we're just a little bit below half right now. You do not want to run this dry while you're bleeding because all you're going to do is introduce more air into the system and you're going to have to do the process all over again. All right guys, that's it. The last things that you need to do are to top off the master cylinder to its appropriate level, bolt up your wheels and tires, and make sure you have a nice firm brake pedal before you go ahead and drive anywhere. But that's how easy it is to bleed out the braking system in your car. So whether you need to do it because you're replacing some brake calipers or a brake line, or you just wanna make sure you keep up with the preventative maintenance on your car, this is a job that you can do at home in your own garage. So get out there and start wrenching. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all of our latest DIY videos. And as always, I'm Greg from CarD.com. I'll see you guys next time.